Hi, in this video, we're going to find a one-sided limit. We have the limit as x approaches zero from the right of pi over x minus pi over the absolute value of x. And so the first thing you should do when evaluating limits is take the number and plug it in. If you do that, you get pi over zero in both cases, so we can't really do that in this problem. Let's try something else, solution. In order to try something else, we have to know the definition of absolute value. The absolute value of x, is actually equal to a piecewise function. It's equal to x, and that's going to be true if x is greater than or equal to zero. And it's equal to minus x, and that's going to be true if x is less than zero. In this particular problem, we're approaching zero from the right. So that means that x is positive, because if you think about it, if this is the number line and this is zero, well, x is on the right, so that means x is over here. Oh, what does that mean? Well, that means x is positive. In this particular problem, the absolute value of x is just equal to x. So now we can rewrite our limit. We have the limit as x approaches zero from the right, parentheses pi over x, minus, and then this is also pi over x because we know that the absolute value of x is equal to x, and that's because x is approaching zero from the right. That's because this says that, right? The piecewise function says it's equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero. So if it's greater than zero, it's equal to x. This is beautiful because pi over x minus pi over x is zero. So we have the limit as x approaches zero from the right of zero. Well, what's that gonna be? That's just going to be zero. Boom, beautiful and we are done, right? So really simple example, if you know the definition of absolute value. If you don't, then it's super hard. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics and you've learned something and hopefully it's helped someone out there in the world. Until next time, good luck, take care.